Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Bold Line. I am back this week with The Sewdown. This is our roundup of stuff that we've read, listened to and watched that we think you guys would find interesting and keep you company while you're doing a bit of sewing. So I'm going to start with stuff to watch and then we've got some really good things to read and then we've got some really good podcasts to listen to. So first things first is watching um, two things from Netflix. The first thing is Next in Fashion. If you, you might have already binged it, I have binged the whole thing already, um, but it is in the format of, I guess, those like America's Next Top Model where they're set a challenge each week. The thing that is interesting about them is that all the designers that they've got are designers and makers in their own right. So they're really, it's really fun because they're really kind of amazing at what they do. And it's really fun and entertaining and yeah, I love it. Um, he, his co-host is um, Gigi Hadid, who actually is her first time doing it and she was really wonderful. And the people in it are really lovely and interesting and got loads of kind of, uh, yeah, I just find it really inspiring. I think you'll enjoy it. And it's actually really good to watch while you sew because you can sort of flick between the two. So the next thing I've got on Netflix, it isn't new, but I've only just watched it and it's really fantastic. So if you haven't watched it, I would really recommend it. It's called Half Time and it's a documentary about Jennifer Lopez doing the half time performance of the Super Bowl. It's really interesting. I mean, I've obviously heard about the Super Bowl and how it, like what a big important thing it is to be asked to do it, but she was just so great and really interesting and you learn about the costumes and how the whole thing's done and how hard it is and she's like it was just really enjoyable so if you haven't seen it yet I would really really recommend it because I absolutely loved it and yeah it's just a really nice watch I think it's about an hour and a half so it's like kind of film length but definitely worth and quite a lot of it is her talking so if you are sewing it's a good kind of audio to kind of listen along to so those are my two things to watch. I've got um, two articles um, from The Guardian. The first one is a really lovely one about um, Stephen Bethel, who is the founder of Beyond Retro. Um, they are, if you haven't heard of them before, they're a chain of vintage shops. Um, they've got a couple in London, some in Brighton, and they are expanding. But I don't know about anyone who I remember as a teenager coming to London and like where you wanted to go was Beyond Retro and look through all of their amazing vintage stuff. And I just really, it's really nice, especially in the current climate, to hear about a company, a sustainable company, um, doing really well and excelling. So this was a really lovely article. So it's definitely worth going and having a look. The next one is a article about designer Amy Powney's quest to make sustainability more than just a buzzword. She's created a film about sustainable fashion. It is, I haven't watched it yet. But I've watched the trailer and it looks fantastic. I feel like we should all go and watch this. So I will pop a link to the article where they interview her. And she sounds like a really interesting person. She had a really interesting upbringing. She was brought up in a caravan without any um, power. So she's kind of got, a, and she's worked in the fashion industry. So she's kind of got a very, she's coming at it from a very different angle. And she wants to create a collection that is kind of created with fabric, you know, as, as is it possible basically to create a collection of fabric that is beautiful has really amazing fabrics and the fabrics haven't kind of traveled that far so it's a really I think it'd be a really interesting film it's out in cinemas I think it's out now it's the beginning of March it was out um so the um article is really amazing and I'll also pop a link to the um website with the trailer for the film because it's really worth going and having a look at and I'm definitely going to go and watch it I think it sounds really like fascinating so the film is called Fashion Reimagined. I don't know if I said that, I probably didn't. Um, but I said film, documentary, but I think it will be really good. So another thing to read, um, we have got, it, this is from Rachel, she's reading this at the moment, and the book is called Rooted, written by Sarah Langford. And it's a memoir about um, her family are farmers, 
And she went to the city and became a barrister and ends up moving back to the countryside and coming back into farming in a completely different format, realising that the whole industry has changed, how hard it is for farmers, what the press kind of junk it is about farming at the moment and meeting a load of people that are farmers the kind of new wave of farmers it's it sounds like I've, i haven't read it but the bio sounds really interesting and she is loving it at the moment so definitely worth going and having a look and it's also on audible if you like listening to audiobooks so talking books really exciting our friend Portia Lowry has written a book and she sent me a copy and I thought I'd talk to you about it because it's really good actually so it's called the refashion wardrobe this is it so anyone who doesn't know Portia um her whole thing has always been about refashioning so using items of clothing to make into other items of clothing so Portia used to do this competition well, not a competition, challenge every year where she set a load of people a challenge where you had to use an item of clothing and turn it into something else. And she asked us to do it a couple of times and I found it so difficult and quite overwhelming. I really enjoyed the process when I, when I got into it, but I found almost thinking about what I was going to do so hard that it sort of paralysed me a bit. And this is why I think this book is actually really good. So I was reading it and she was said that there are two types of people who refashion and I thought this was really interesting. There's the first type where you use the item of the kind of piece of clothing that you are using. You're just trying to get the material out of it. So you're using it purely and then pattern cutting, you know, using flat patterns on this. Or you're using the garment to try and reimagine it into something else, but using the kind of features of the garment and the kind of people fall into two camps which I thought was really true so if you are thinking that you'd like to do it and you don't really know where to start because I definitely didn't this is definitely a really good option so the beginning of the book has got loads of good details about um, all the fabrics you'll need um, I think the beginning of the book is designed for people who are kind of newer to sewing so if you're kind of more in the you know we've, we've we've made a few things we know a bit more what we're doing then I would maybe skip to the project bits and the project bits are really interesting because they're quite simple but they just start your brain working on how you could use items of clothing and refashion them and that's the thing I think that you need the, what other thing that I found I really struggled with I think if you had this you did a couple of these projects then that would just take you on your way to kind of making loads of things but it's actually trying to think of something in a new format that I found really tricky so there's simple projects like this one which is a using a t-shirt a so sort of simple black t-shirt um, and turning it into a sort of tiered dress um, there's really nice there's quite a few projects with shirts because obviously there's a lot of kind of big shirts kind of kicking around in charity shops so turning it into a sort of a tunic top um, or what else have we got in here? There's a cropped version of a top. Um, there's a little cropped version like so. Um, and then there's everything up from that to, which I think is sort of the piece de resistance is this really beautiful quilted jacket using a throw here, you can see. So the book is set out quite similar to a, like a traditional um, kind of like your standard pattern book. So you have that and then you have all the different options of how to make it here. So you kind of have the step by step instructions so that it holds your hands the whole way through. There's also a really lovely section about using denim and all the different ways that you can do it, which I really enjoyed as well towards the back. And then once you've kind of got through all the projects, there's this really lovely section at the back of the book where they show you how you wear all of the um how, how you wear everything together and then they show you all of there's a whole section about fitting which is really in-depth and really easy to follow which i found really kind of it's just yeah it's really nicely written this book and then there are things about sizing different sizing options how to actually take the kind of garments apart um things like the jeans particularly the chain stitch which I definitely 
taken apart is an absolute nightmare so she tells you how to do that um it's just a really kind of good book there's also loads of things about hemming different types of hemming reducing bulk on seams darning machine darning so there's it's kind of a wealth of information and I feel like if you followed a couple of the projects at the beginning you had this sort of reference bit at the back to kind of show you where you were going it's a really yeah good one so it is out on Monday so if you are thinking you need a little treat this is definitely worth having a check out and yeah it's really it's also beautifully done it's really nice really nicely done um which you is just what you'd expect from Porsche so moving on from books I've now got four podcast options so we've got Off Air which with Fee and Jane which we have definitely spoken about before and it's a particular episode that we thought was really interesting um she interviews Patricia Field who was the costume designer on Sex in the City um and Emily in Paris so she's definitely worth going and having a listen to I really enjoyed it so definitely go and check that out um, the next podcast is um, a newish one, which I'm really enjoying as well. And Rachel sent it to me and I started listening to it. It's called Why Women Grow. And it's interviewing quite famous women in their gardens, not about gardening, but about life. Um, they're really interesting articles. It's part of the FT. It's just they're very well. The person interviewing Alice Vincent is really well researched. And they're just really lovely conversations. So perfect for when you're sewing. Um, the next one we've got is um, The Rabbit Hole Detectives, which I have listened to the first one of these and it's really funny. So the concept is, have you ever gone down a rabbit hole when looking in something, a kind of bit of history or a phrase that you've like, that we've heard all our lives and we're like, actually, how, where did that come from? And the concept is that there are two people in the podcast and they set each other a challenge each week. So they have to do a deep dive on the topic that the other one has given them. It is really nice, really nice and lighthearted and definitely worth going and having a check out. So the last one is called The Witch Trials of J.K. Rowling. I don't know if anyone has seen this. It was really interesting um, podcast to listen to. So it's about... Um, they actually interview J.K. Rowling, so she's in it. It's not just about her. And it's done by a girl who lived in a very strict kind of Christian cult in America and got out of it and has since then kind of done a lot of research on um, belief systems. And they she goes and interviews her. I'm only on the second episode, so I, I'm, there's the, I haven't got kind of really deep yet. But they she talks about lots of interesting stuff she's a very interesting woman and obviously there was all that controversy about the, her tweets that she did um so it sort of explores all loads of different things within the world of harry potter and around and her views on things and it, yeah it, it's i'm too in and i'm finding it really really interesting so we thought you would too that is it from us this week um hope you've had a good weekend and we'll be back soon with another video bye